Hey there, Bridge family, it's Pastor Jeff. And today I'd like to talk to you about the blessing that we all have as believers, as biblical Christians, the blessings that we share in our ability to express our joy, to express our joy in Jesus. We know this as rejoicing. It's the active joy that one has in Jesus that leads to and fuels the rejoicing that we not only get to do, but we're actually commanded to do. And so today I'd like to just get you to think about the biblical reality of obedient joy, obedient joy, that we get the blessing of being those who can express obedient joy. That's the essence of rejoicing. Friend, I wonder if in today's world, with all the struggles, with all the mess, with all the perversion, not to mention our own personal challenges and battles, I wonder if you've come to think about 1 Thessalonians 5.17, a two-word command, a two-word verse, the whole verse, rejoice always. Rejoice always. I wonder if you're living in the blessing of obedient joy, living out the call, the command, the commission to rejoice in Jesus no matter what. There's a lot to this, and it's not to simply say that you can't feel pain, that you, you're not supposed to acknowledge the trials and the tragedies of life. No, that's not what we're being told here. We're being told to rejoice always, which says, don't forget the joy that you've received from Jesus and that you get to live out in Jesus because joy is a fruit of the Spirit. It's not like happiness that comes and goes with circumstances. It's not like pleasure, which is a self-sought and self-seeking desire. No, joy is a gift from God. Joy is what you get when you get Jesus as Lord and Savior. His indwelling Spirit brings with Him the fruit of the Spirit, which includes joy, the ability to rejoice. I pray that as we together press into our relationship with the living God, that will come to better understand and help one another to embrace the grace that brings a joy and rejoicing in Jesus. Amen and amen.